All right, folks, we're working on our laser project here. And one of the things that you need to make a laser function is a vacuum pump. So I went down to one of those family something or another stores, and I found this little $10 compressor. It's an air compressor. I'll bring that up to you so you can see it there. It's got a little uh, gauge in the center, hose, and a 12-volt lead that goes off to a cigarette lighter-style plug-in here. I want to show you what it looks like inside. I'm going to take you through how to convert this simple little pump into a vacuum pump just because of the style of pump that it is. So real quick here, I want to open this up. I'm going to take out some of these pieces in here. First of all, you're going to want to remove the pressure gauge here. Okay. I've already undone all the screws and stuff. Here's all the parts and pieces that you'll find inside of theirs right there. So you want to undo all that. You go ahead and pop that out of there. We're going to remove this down the cord for a second. I'll place it back in the shot. All right, so this is what we're left with. This little simple compressor right here. Now the actual intake valve, these are both output valves here, uh, going out the top of the head of the piston. The input valve, let's see if I can get the light right and get that rotated, is right there. So maybe you can see that hole in the bottom of the piston right there. That's actually the intake valve, and that's not going to work for trying to use it as a vacuum pump. So what we're going to do is actually fill that little hole right here in the bottom of the piston that you can see at the tip of my finger. We're going to fill that with epoxy, basically rendering it useless as the intake valve for this pump. The nice thing about the pump is that it has two lines coming out of the top here, which allows me to build some valve systems right off of the side of these lines. So what I'm going to do here is remove this little gauge off of this, and I'm about maybe leave about this much hose right here, cut it off somewhere right here so I can put a stem back on there. And this is actually going to be a, a reverse direction valve. So this will open when the piston comes to the top of the stroke. So it will be an out push valve here. To make the, uh, the regular air line, a vacuum line, what I'm going to have to do also is build a one way valve for this. So the valve actually closes on the push stroke of the piston, on the up stroke of the piston. This valve will close, this valve will open pushing out the air inside the piston. When the piston's on its travel back down, this valve will close, this valve will open back up, allowing for the vacuum draw to take place and reverse from what it's designed to do. So let me go ahead and start building these valves for this. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done to convert this over, this little simple thing. And the one thing I did like about it, it has a little cooling fan built on the top there, as you can see. And I can build a little case for that or whatever, so that way I can actually effectively cool this. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, so I'll cut these, put these one-way valves together, and I'll show you exactly what we've done to convert this into a uh, vacuum pump. All right, folks, I showed you the hard way to make a valve system for this. Now I want to show you the easiest way that you can convert that little air compressor that I showed you into a vacuum pump. And I'm going to show you it working here. In the face of this, what I have for our valve, I want to carefully lift that up underneath there. Let's see if I can get the angle just right here for you. You see that opening right there? See that opening? Okay, what that is, is the head of one of these rivets. So right there is what you were looking at. I've taken the pin out of the center. The shaft size here is perfect for fitting down inside of the tube, uh, coming out of the air compressor head on that side. And it just has this really thin layer. And what that is, is a section of a label to a water bottle. So I've just used a section of the label to the water bottle. It's made out of some nice material. It's perfect, nice and smooth. It's very lightweight and lets it move. And that's all I've done. Just on one of the outputs here, once again, I glued the, uh, the normal output in the back of the piston back there all together so that it doesn't draw in. I had to remove this one-way valve they had in the top here. You have to undo the screws and pull it out of there, otherwise you can't make it a vacuum pump. It only allows air pressure coming in from the piston, doesn't let anything back out. That was the one-way valve at the top for the normal air compressors. You can have to open it up, take that out. It's a little spring with a uh, plastic bushing that fits in there. And that you have to take it out of there, otherwise it won't work. And then out of the other side here, you notice there's no valves whatsoever going right down to our tank. So let me now turn this thing on. Once again, I've got a little switch over here that came with the air compressor itself. So I'm going to turn it on and let's see how well it works.
So there you go, folks. That's a good working uh, vacuum compressor. And once again, this is our little valve just made out of a piece of a label from a water bottle sitting over a nice flat face created by the top of that rivet stuck in there into the tube, and that's it. That, that was the simple conversion. Other than pulling the valve out of the head here, got to remember to do that and glue the other valve in the back of the piston. And there you go. That's a vacuum pump once again. Let's turn it on. So there you go, that's a gallon water bottle pulled completely flat. It does have a little back feed once you turn the compressor off. It does draw in just a little bit of air through the whole valving system. You can actually hear the valve here flutter. Um, let me go ahead and turn it on once with a good shot of the valve so you can kind of see it in action here. Let's see if we can get a good line on that. So there you go, you can see it fluttering. So there you go. All right, real quick I wanna show you the valve that I built, something really simple to build. First of all, the top piece that slides into the tube here is one of the pieces off of a rivet. So the collar, the long collar here slides into the tube from the compressor and it fits perfectly in there. The next piece you're gonna want if I can pick it up, is a little piece of aluminum flashing. And I've drilled a hole in that aluminum flashing the right size for this rivet to go in. It's going to be a tight fit. There you go. So you got the rivet pushed through the aluminum flashing. That's going to push back onto the hose just like that. And that leaves you this for your face. And the only other thing I've done is you a little bit of super glue on that piece of the label here. Right over the face of that. And bam, you've got a valve that's going to work just fine for your compressor here to turn it into a vacuum pump. Um, that label piece is actually just a piece from a bottled water bottle. So you can see right there, you probably get a good idea of what kind of label that is. Very smooth, uh, easy to work with material, and has a little bit of memory, so it's going to work good for a valve. Real simple to build there, folks. That's all it was. Three pieces to put it together, and the entire compressor now becomes a vacuum pump.